Hey everyone, welcome back to Saturdays. So today we're doing another 12 by 12. I already have it pre-prepped. Put that right up here. And since I'm having fun with this banding wheel lately, we're going to stick with it. And today we're going to be playing with napkin rings sent to me by Monica Timoni. I'm just coming in using these paper clips to attach them for right now because I don't want them to be permanent, permanently fixated, so I'm not going to glue them or anything. This just allows me to play around with these for other configurations and everything in the future. But I'm just making sure that they're all level, that they're all on. There we go. And as you can see, they have this really fun star shape here in the center. So what I want to try to do today is play with that whole star theme. And we're going to use Color Shift Yellow, Lucas Krill Silver, Lucas Krill silver bronze, let's see, Crossmark gold, Lucas Krill titanium white, uh, if I can get any of the muted pearl out of there I will try, Soho gold, and oh, did I, I already mentioned the yellow, then on the five rings on the outside, I'm going to come in with Soho black, Soho phthalo green, Soho cad blue, or Soho cobalt blue, Color Shifts Purple, Lucas Krill Prussian Blue, Sharon Williams Dark Knight, and Sharon Williams Kimono Violet. So those are going to be more like a Starry Night kind of color on the, on the outside. And the whole concept today is I'm going to put a base down, which I have a little, that gray base. I've been avoiding the white for some reason. But we have the gray base so I'm going to put down. We're going to place this, fill with the colors and remove this and spin it out and see if we can't keep that star pattern. So let me get the base coat down real quick and I'll be right back. So now that I have the base coat down, I'm just going to go to the other side of this room and spray these down. This is uh, Giovanni's Shine of the Times High Gloss Hair Mist. The first two ingredients is dimethicone and silicone. And it also smells really, really good. And I like it better than using the blaster that I have or the WD-40 that I have. It just seems to work better for me. So let me spray these down and I'll be right back. Alright. So I'm going to try to place this as center as I can. That looks about good, right? So this video isn't going to have any music and it's not going to have any time lapses. So you guys are in for the long haul. Other than my basic edits and adding my intro, um, I'm trying not to speed up this video. I apologize to some of you that don't speak English very well and my sped up voice when I speed my videos up is a little hard to understand. Um, also the hand movements, I am trying my best to not move my hands around in screen as much for you guys. Uh, it's years of sign language and everything, so I'm, I'm used to moving my hands when I'm talking, so I do apologize. Alright, so now that we have this down, oh, I'm also trying to make sure that my videos are a little bit more tutorial for you guys. We're going to start in the center here, and I'm going to throw down the Lucas Krill Titanium White. I'm kind of curious to see if it already will start to come out any of these corners. Alright, so we're going to come in with the Craftsmark Gold and just a smidge. Because I don't want the center part to be too dark, I want to keep it on the lighter side. So I think I'm going to jump in with this Lucas Grill Silver right off the bat into the center. And I'm going to come in with the yellow, same thing. We're using just a little bit of paint, so in comparison to my hand you can see it's not a lot of paint going down. Same with that gold. Now this is the part. This if I can't get any of that muted pearl. 
I absolutely love this stuff, but it's expensive beyond all reasoning. So, not a lot of that left. And I love the way that looks next to the Lucas Curl Silver Bronze. So, we're going to come in. Ooh. So you'll notice some of my bottles don't have that mesh, and some do. I started adding this on the fresh bottles, the fresh paint, when I remake them and everything, and then I add that and I keep that there. It actually helps prevent from those like annoying dried paint boogers that happen. We've all been there, we've all had them, they're annoying. But... Oh, I can already see there's some of it is trying to push through. I don't think there's enough weight on here, but underneath into these sections. So let's work a little bit quicker. Gonna get the black down. Oh, I keep tapping the. Oh. How this turns out is everyone's guess at this point. <laughs> All right. So next to that, we're going to go in with the color shift, because color shifts next to the black always look really cool. Same thing. I don't want a lot of purple. I want more of the blues to show through. So next to that purple, we're going to come in with the Dark Knight from Sharon Williams. Kind of tone down those really pink hues. Ooh, and it's already coming out. Okay, so it's something I'm going to have to look at for future is weighing these down. But I'm loving these colors, especially that cobalt blue and that violet next to each other. Right. I'm just going to keep my hand here, try to keep it down for a minute. Depression blue. Hit up the black one more time, and then we'll get the spinning. Even though it's already like really forced its way through. Move all my paint and everything out of the way because the radius usually is about two inches sometimes away from the canvas. When we spin out, oh yeah, I've kind of created a fun little star. Let's see what happens now. Why oh, should torch this? And one last measure. I'm gonna pull from the center through here. Try to re-emphasize that star shape. Let's get the spinning. See, now I know. I keep putting stuff underneath this banding wheel to level it out, but I think the banding wheel itself is uneven. I'm going to have to look into. So let's try to. I'm just gonna 
try to tilt this real quick, get it back to the center, and then we'll spin. All right, that's as good as it's gonna get. Let's go. Now, when I time lapse this, this goes by like really quickly. This is as fast as I normally go, right here. And I'll come in from underneath and just help it along sometimes, but you don't want to go any faster than what it's spinning right now, because then it just makes a mess. We're just using the centrifugal force created with just enough pull to allow the paint to glide over and off. And like I said, about a two inch diameter of where that paint will land. And I'm loving these colors. I'm kind of happy I did these. <laughs> it's a little bit different. It kind of reminds me of a starfish. You can see a lot of cells are trying to come up through this black. Let's see where this lands. Loving the lacing that's going on, especially like in this corner. See if I can't bring you guys down a little bit closer. There we go. So you guys can see it a little bit better. The lacing that's going on. What's going on with the colors? Yeah, I knew that that violet and that blue would play well together. Yeah, this looks a little less like a star up in the sky and a little bit more like a star under the sea. And it looks like the... can't tell if that's going to be the Lucas Krill silver bronze in that center or the Crossmark gold that's popping up in here. I can definitely see the Soho gold mixing with the color shift yellows and the pearl the pearl I think that's all the pearl in the center and if that is that's going to be exciting ah oh, loving it not sure what's causing that cloudy effect with the black it could be a mix of the Sharon Williams and the Kimono Violet with the black over it or the Sherwin Williams Dark Knight, which I'm not, actually not even seeing the Dark Knight in here right now. But here we go. Let me know if you guys like this. If you do, don't forget to hit thumbs up to my four lovely dislikers out there. You guys know where your button is. So for the rest of you, if you guys do enjoy this, please hit the thumbs up. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was enough of a tutorial for you. And I hope your Saturday is going incredible. So, until then, I will see you guys later. Bye!